Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, yours truly. And today we got our Ipsy bag. We got our Ipsy bag. Yay. This is March Ipsy bag. I have not opened it yet. So we're going to open it right now. Take everything out. Nothing in there anymore. And this is the bag. Kind of feels like um, a canvas. Uh, and it's got like a whole bunch of different faces and hairstyles and things like that. A little pink ribbon for the tab. And some markers to um, for coloring. So we got a orange one and a green one. Because you can color this. And let's see, it says create March 2018 Ipsy. So there's that. And it's got stuff on the back if you want to read it. Let's just dive right in. Ooh, first thing that I see right that I pull right out first is a pink pewter splash and swirl professional makeup sponge. It looks like this. What is, let's unwrap it. I actually like this sponge because it's like flat on this end and flat on this side as well. And it's like a pink and black swirl. And the top of it is also flat there. And it is very squishy. Um, we'll see if it grows. We'll just set that back there for safekeeping. Next thing we got is a Glossier Coconut Balm. And it says that it's cruelty free, made in the USA. And that's it. So it just looks like this orange little tube here. Bear with me, I'm filming with my new camera. I'm trying to figure out the uh, the viewfinder and everything, so we shall figure it out soon. Ooh, it does smell like coconut. So I, I don't know if this is a lip balm. Just says coconutbalm.com. Oh, skin. I'll have to look it up because I don't really know, but it's cute. Oops, it's upside down. And it's cute little packaging there. Put that in back there for safekeeping. Next, we got a skin. Iceland Solution for Stress Skin Pure Cloud Cream with Arctic Berries and Peptides and it just looks like this right here. You can see it if I can get it to focus. Okay, kind of. Uh I think we can pull this little tab out or not. Technical difficulties. And it says the ingredients in there. And I just think it is uh, after cleaning, smooth over face and throat. And that's all it says. So uh, I'm excited to use that product. 
Next we have E Established 1999 Lash Alert Mascara by Eco London. And it looks like that. And this cute little packaging. And it says wake up and go. Give your lashes a lift with a shot of caffeine and a double dose of fibers for an instant volume and curl definition. Squeeze me to coat brush. Okay, we're squeezing. I don't know how much you have to squeeze it or how long you have to squeeze it, but let's look at the... Maybe squeeze it like once it's out. Okay, there we go. So the brush is curved. So it looks like this. There. Excited to try this. I'm always excited to try new mascaras. And the last thing that we have in here is a Dirty Little Secrets Cosmetics, and it is a baked highlighter, and the packaging looks like, oops, the packaging looks like this. Super cute. Let's get it out. Baked highlighter, and the color looks like this, and the packaging just looks like this. And let's give it a swatchy swatch. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a swatch of it. I think this would be more of a blush and not a highlighter. I would use this for a blush. Yes, no? I think it's too pink to be a highlighter. So that is everything that we got in this month's bag. I am definitely going to color this and just design it and just go crazy with it. I have other markers that I can use on it to make it just look great. And I'm super excited that I can do that. I really like that they made this bag like that because then you can just like customize the bag and make it your own thing. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. You guys keep your stripes, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I did wet the sponge. I don't know if you're supposed to, but it completely deformed after I wet it. Now, when I wet it, it did get bigger, but when I squeezed it dry, it just... I mean, that's what happens with it. So I don't know if you're supposed to wet it, if you're not supposed to wet it, what you're supposed to do with it, but this is what happened to it after I wet it. So I probably won't be using this and maybe I'll research. And like when I wet it, now it feels like putty almost. Like I could form it. So maybe I'll research it. I don't know, but I probably will not use this beauty sponge.